Poppy? Yes. Kelly? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Tesori? Yes. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is, is naming a presiding officer for this meeting. I motion Willard to be the presiding officer for the meeting. Willard. Second. I can second my own motion. Yes, you can. Yes, sir. Yes. I forgot these words. Copy. Yes. Kelly. Yes. Kelly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, next thing on the agenda is proclamations, presentations, recognitions. We don't have anything for that tonight. Uh, public comment. Sorry. I'd like to leave off the public comment. Uh, last week, my emotions got away from me, and I'm sorry about all that. And uh, the emotions do run high in this room at times, and they just uh, I got overwhelmed by my actions and everything. And I'm sorry for what I did. Everybody was here that night to the council, and everybody was watching this on video. Won't happen. Okay. Cindy Webb. Good evening. I live outside of city limits, but I do want to thank the city employees. I've requested tree limbs to be cut down, stop signs to be replaced. They go up above and beyond to get my complaints taken care of. We've had citizens of Farmer City that took care of the situation too, but I do want to thank the city employees for that. Second, Farmer City BMX. Did any of you make it out there this weekend? Yes. You actually was out there or I you drove, drove by? I drove through, I didn't get spent. So it was Tent City, correct? It was. Wonderful job by the BMX. A lot of the campsites were full. We had motor homes out there, campers. And what was a blessing in disguise is they cleaned up after themselves. They bagged their own garbage. The law did not have to be called. But yet, you guys want to charge them for water usage? Do you charge the school for water usage for them to water their soccer field? Or for them to water their baseball field? But yet, you want to charge them to water, use water out there? I don't think that's correct. And again, my next one, the apologies. Thank you, Willard, for your apology. Like I said, I live outside of city limits. I watch this every week or every two weeks. I appreciate the apology. Aaron, I feel we need one from you too. The sign behind you says, United, the one and only, unique. You guys don't follow that. Farmer City is the one and only in USA. United? We're not united, we're divided. Are we unique? Yeah, because we are undivided. You guys were elected by the citizens of Farmer City to serve our town. Put your differences aside, get along with one another, and do your job. We shouldn't be pitting Farmer City Heritage Days against Farmer City Raceway versus Farmer City BMX. Great organizations. I support all three. Let's work together. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> There's no further public comment. We have a public hearing tonight for appropriations ordinance and uh, why don't you explain it to the public and think what this is all about. Well, to explain it as a public hearing that to allow anybody to comment on the appropriation ordinance that's under consideration for tonight, uh, you'd need to open the public hearing and then open, you know, allow anybody to speak. And then when it, if anybody's <coughs> done speaking and no one else has anything else to say, then you need to close the hearing. Okay. The public hearing is open for a comment about the appropriations ordinance. If anybody wants to step forth and say anything they can about it. There's 
nobody wants to step forward about the appropriations ordinance. I will close the appropriations ordinance to the hearing at this time, and we'll move on with our meeting. The consent agenda. The motion to approve it. Make a motion for the consent agenda. I'll second it. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. That's right. Okay. Nothing on the consent agenda at this time. We'll move to section two. The unfinished business. <coughs> The uh, resolution 2017-32 appointing an acting mayor to fill the remainder of the term. Do we have any volunteer citizens? Yes. I like to move myself to try this again. I like to say that. I second it. We have to vote now or? Yeah, yeah. call the vote. Call the vote. Okay. McKinley? Yes. Tessori? No. Poppy? Yes. Or Kelly? No. I will vacate my seat. I'm sorry. I should have said that now. Motion I'd like to make a motion for myself again. Call vote. Tessori? Yes. Poppy? No. Kelly? Yes. McKinley? Present. Uh, <laughs> Make a motion for uh, Brad Iron. Yeah, I. Yeah. Can I say something? Go ahead. Well, I was... Okay, I, I will, I'm going to give you my opinion, okay? But I'm happy to talk about it. I'm not so bullheaded to not think about it. Uh, I believe because you're here, Willard, your present doesn't automatically go with the majority. So I think it's a two-to-one vote. So I think the motion fails, okay? So that's my legal opinion, is that your present does not create three affirmative votes. I would agree with that. I'm not a lawyer, but in my past experience, sometimes the vote of present creates a failure. Now, I would also say, believe it or not, and I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to give the, the broad picture of the view, there's also a law that says if you're not actually present, but you're not, then sometimes that goes with the majority. I don't think that applies here. I think in this situation it needs three affirmative yes votes. So I believe it's my legal opinion that that motion failed, okay? okay I'm gonna ask you to go into executive session over this because you said you could the last time, is that right, Joe? Yes, you can, absolutely. I would like to do, I'll make a motion to do that. Okay, and, and, and uh, you certainly may, and just for the record, everybody here, and Sue mentioned that th this is a possibility, uh, this is under 5 ILCS 120-2C3, allows the City Council to go into executive session for purposes of appointment of a public official, to fill a public vacancy. So yes, it's absolutely permitted under statute. Need a second for that? Yeah. Yeah. I had a question, on the last vote, Scott Kelly voted yes, I voted yes, she voted no, he voted present. That doesn't, that's not the majority? No, no, because uh, again, in order to, in order to, it requires three affirmative votes. Supermajority. Uh, I don't know about supermajority, I think it's three positive votes to have it pass. I second to go to Poppy? Yes. Kelly? No. McKinley? Yes. Tessori? No. Okay. So can, we motion one, can we motion another person to be, to be mayor? You certainly can. I make a motion, Scott Kelly. Do you want this? I'll second it. Call the vote. 
Kelly? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Or Testory? Yes. Poppy? Yes. Motion carried. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Yes. Thank you, Stan. Stan, raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of the mayor of the city of Palmer City. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the mayor of the city of Palmer City. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Commissioner. Thank you. Mr. Kelly, consistent with what I've said before, you have the right to still retain your current council position and act as mayor. Uh, or you can resign as council person, and you don't have to decide that today. You can do that at any point in time along the way. You can say, I resign as council member. Okay. All right, so we just need to move on to section three, correct? Yes. Uh, new business ordinances and resolutions for initial considerations. Ordinance 982, appropriation, appropriation ordinance. So move. Second. Oh, yeah, roll call. Tessori? Yes. Poppy? Yes. Kelly? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Uh, section four, other items? will be the city manager's report. Um, the only update I have is in regards to Maple Street. There were some concerns. I did uh, meet with uh, our staff, and they're going to start work back on that project uh, the first part of August, like late next week. Uh, three will be a department supervisor. Yeah, I put that on there in case they have something that to bring to the table, but probably if they're not here, we don't need to, you know, Okay. Uh, number four will be the non-agenda items and other business. Okay. So move to adjourn. Second. Kelly? Yes. <coughs> McKinley? Yes. Tessori? Yes. Coffee? Yes. Motion. Uh,